Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching y'all a little bit about Aptasia and how to get rid of them from your tank. To understand why you don't want them in your tank, you need to first understand what an Aptasia anemone is. So Aptasia is a type of anemone that is a pest, it's a nuisance, it is just not wanted in your tank. You don't want that. It is not good for your tank. Basically it's introduced of one of two ways into your tank. Either a coral that you bought has a little tiny piece of Aptasia on it that you can't see because you're blind like I am or the live rock you bought has it somewhere on there. Basically, once Aptasia starts growing, it spreads, it gets everywhere, it competes with your fish for food, it can take over and ruin corals. It could really, it could just take over your whole tank. You could have, it could sting your fish if it gets big enough. Now you kind of understand why you don't want Aptasia anemone in your tank. So if you see just one, get it out while you can. Don't make the mistake I did, because I just saw just one chilling in my tank and I was like, he can stay, I'm not about to murder an anemone for no reason. And then that anemone, like, it just grew and grew and grew. And then, you know, it decided it was lonely, so it had some friends join it, and now they were all over my tank, and it was just not fun. You have a few options when trying to get rid of them. You can go the livestock route and buy some vile fish, or peppermint shrimp, or some slugs. All of those creatures eat Aptasia. The problem is, is they only eat newly developing Aptasia. The really small ones that you can barely ever see, and the ones that, you know, they're, you know, a little bitty. If you have a really big Aptasia, they are not gonna eat it. They're just gonna leave it alone. So, if you have really big Aptasia, or you just don't wanna go through the trouble of adding another creature into your tank to take care of, you can go ahead and go the route where you will physically remove the anemone from the tank yourself. The way you do this is you can either get something called Aptasia X, which is kind of like a chemical you put in the tank, but you put it directly into the anemone, you inject it, and it kills it. This is perfectly fine, but a lot of people are nervous to put chemicals in their tank, which is completely understandable. So, there is another route that is completely natural, completely safe for your tank, the only thing is if you put too much in it, it might cause a pH swing, so you really want to watch it. So that's what I'm going to be showing y'all today. So what is that natural way, you ask? This is concentrated lemon juice, and this is a needle. I feel like a doctor right now. All you're going to do is get some concentrated... Oh, I spilt it. Basically, you're going to get some concentrated lemon juice and not spill it on yourself. And you're going to get a needle. This is a 3 millimeter needle. Hold up. Now you're wondering, how do I get a needle? Well, if you're a drug addict, I'm not telling you. But if you need it for Aptasia, basically you just go to a drugstore. You don't go to um, Target. They won't allow you to get one without a prescription. But you go to like Walgreens or something. I don't know if they allow you to. And you ask for a three millimeter needle. And they're gonna be like, why do you need it? And you're gonna be like, I understand you might think it's for drugs. It's actually so I can stab an anemone with it and inject lemon juice in it so it melts and dies. That's basically what you're gonna tell them, okay? If you're a kid watching this video and you're about to go buy a needle, don't because you might stab yourself. And I don't wanna see y'all guys commenting on my video, Taylor, I'm a kid and I stabbed myself and died with this needle. But I guess if you were commenting on my video and you're dead, congratulations for knowing how to use YouTube beyond the dead. I don't know why a kid would need this anyway. There's no kid with a saltwater tank with Aptasia and enemies. Um, anyway, this is kind of getting weird. I'm getting off topic. Um, let me go ahead and show y'all guys how to do this and how to get some Aptasia anemone out of your tank. Don't inject your whole tank at once if you have a lot of Aptasia anemones. Just do one little like cluster at a time, like once every few days, because if you put too much lemon juice into your tank at once, it's gonna cause a pH swing, and we don't want all your fish to get sad, and we don't want your corals to get sad. We just want the Aptasia anemone to die. Ow! Hurt myself, how do doctors do that? Okay, what we have here is some, ah! Lemon juice, just lemon juice concentrate that for some reason I can't pick up for the life of me. What we're gonna do is get some of this lemon juice concentrate into this syringe and get rid of the Aptasia. Lemon juice, Jesus, this is hard to hold. Lemon juice. Okay, as we can see here, we have three of them. Let's see if I can get to them and get rid of them. Excuse me, little guys. Don't close up on me. I have really, really shaky hands, and this is not a good time for that. I'm sorry, little anemones, you just didn't work out in my tank, you know? Hope you have good life, you know, another in another life. There's more on this side. As you can see, the Aptasia that was sticking out right here is now all, you know, shrunken up back there. We had two on this rock right here, gone. For the bigger Aptasia, you might have to do more than one dose of the lemon juice. Um, there's no exact amount. 
It's always best to inject the lemon juice into the tube or the uh, foot of the anemone rather than going straight into the mouth. That way, even once it retracts, you could still really get it in there. As I was handling this one little section, I found a few more sections of it that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, I'm just, I have a long process ahead of me of eliminating them completely. I will be doing care videos on clownfish very soon. My Blenny literally always lives in that hole. If you put your hand near that hole, he will attack you. He will bite your hand relentlessly until you get away from his hole. That is his hole. We don't mess with his hole. So that's how you do that, and that's how you get rid of an Aptasia anemone. In other news, a reporter from a news team came to my house today, and they interviewed me, and they filmed all my loving animals. They're gonna put it in their newspaper and on their website. That means I'm gonna be on a newspaper and on the internet. Can you believe I'm gonna be on the internet? So yeah, I'll let y'all guys, I'll send y'all guys a link to that story once it comes out. Kinda low-key nervous though. Like 30 minutes before he got here, I was still doing my makeup and I like scribbled my eyebrows on. They look so bad, that's why I washed all my eyebrows off right now. I don't have any, I just have my natural eyebrows, which I think actually might look better on me than my normally drawn on eyebrows. That just shows you how bad I am at that. Oh yeah, if you think I cut my hair, this is just, I'm not wearing my extensions. I actually, my hair has always been this length. I just have, you know, fake hair. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be on the news for having too many animals. I'm just kidding, guys. That's not what it's about. It's about having a perfect amount of animals for me. It's just, it's just about me being a freak, really. So I'm excited for that. I think I just messed up my lipstick. Other news, you guys might remember how I had a community tank with my betta fish. Yeah, that, that epically failed the other day. I've had that tank running for about a year, no problem. Well, the other day, all my guppies and tetras just decided to, you know, form a little alliance and beat the heck out of my beta, because I woke up and my beta's like missing all of his fins. So, um, yeah, the guppies now have been moved because they're being punished. They're in a tiny little 2.5 gallon tank, and the tetras are in there too. So, but before y'all get after me about it being too small and me being a hypocrite about saying never put that many fish in such a small tank, but here I am doing it. This is only temporary because um, I don't have a space for the guppies, so I'm either going to have to sell them or find a space for the bigger tank. But until then, they will live in this tank. They're not going to die. They will survive. They can do it. I believe in them. I cleared up my seahorse tank finally, which is nice because it was really nasty and really green. So I'll do a video about how I got rid of green water in a saltwater tank because that was disgusting and I couldn't even see in there. It was so gross. So yeah, I hope y'all guys enjoyed. Thank y'all guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Actually, I won't see y'all. I'll just see the screen that I talked to. Bye, I love y'all. Oh, by the way, thank y'all guys so much for the 22,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful and grateful and happy and lovable. I don't know why I said that. I was trying to come up with more words and lovable came out.